Hey, this is Charlotte, part of Team Baker, and I'm here with Tiffany. And we are here today on this Marriage Enrichment Podcast. We thank you for listening. And we want to talk about some things we were doing today as a family. So Tiffany and I, we decided during this quarantine, semi-quarantine time, whatever you want to call it now, because things have kind of shifted just slightly, but we are still working from home. So although she's out of school now and may I say she graduated I say graduated I'm jumping her may I say she finished <laughs> with all A's Woo-hoo! so I wanted to give her a shout out for that and she was number 50 out of what 666 students in her junior class so we're very proud of her okay so basically we wanted to do this podcast we want to talk about what we're doing so we've been talking about the husband and i strategizing revamping restructuring and so we thought it was also important of course to include tiffany she's 17 now she's like a little mini us mini me (laughs) and she has certain aspirations and one of the aspirations is business so we talk about business and we're going to be doing some more podcasts about business specific things that we have done over the years we've been married 20 plus years We've tried a slew of things, may we tell you, a slew, let's be honest, a slew. (laughs) But in our trial and era and continue to endeavor, we did learn some things. So with that being said, Tiffany also has the entrepreneurial bug as well. And so she's been doing stuff really since she was about, what, five? We used to do what we call garage sales, even though we didn't have a garage, but that's what they call them. And she would have her little signs. I remember she made her little signs. And you were selling what, Tiffany? I was selling uh, candy for like a couple cents. And I think maybe like some bracelets as well in the neighborhood. Just something small. You know? Yeah, so she's been doing that. I think, Like I said, she was about five or six. And so she's always had this desire, I think probably because looking at us we've tried so many things and it's really a good thing I'm glad we started her off with that thinking about what she can do in business so since that time she has tried or done a lot of different things so she's very creative she is a creative soul I think she gets that from her mother because I'm pretty creative I think yeah pretty much I like different things but anyway so tell them some of the things you have done as far as creations over the years So over the years, I have been crocheting. Uh, I would crochet like uh, hats um, for different clients or maybe uh, stuffed animals or scarves, just stuff for the winter time. And now I picked up the art of sewing. Yeah, but back, back, back. Got to go back, backtrack. Remember, you did nails for a minute. Oh, you had yeah, a little nail I did shop. Nail. I did. <laughs> you I know, had... low key, low key. Just putting on polish. No, no manicures or anything. Yeah. So she did that for a minute. Was mm-hmm. there anything else? You've done what? Painting. painting. Oh my goodness, yeah, she's done mm-hmm. some good paintings. Mm-hmm. You know, she she can sketch pretty well. Are we missing anything? I think that was it. The crochet, the painting, the nails. So now, going forward, you're doing what? I'm sewing. She is sewing. And she just started sewing, guys. So <clears throat> it was my sewing. It's my sewing machine. I haven't picked it up in a, in a little while. But for some reason, what? how did you get on this road to want to sew? Well, one day I was just in my bed, nothing to do. And I was just like, what is a business that I can start? That's something that I'm passionate about and that's easy. And then I thought about natural hair. I like natural hair. And I was like, how can I protect natural hair? And I came to the conclusion of bonnets. So then I looked up on YouTube. I was like, how to make a bonnet. And I uh, watched that it was fairly easy. So I was like, I know my mom has a sewing machine. We can get some material, and sewing shouldn't be that hard. So that's how I came to the creation of Tiffany's Boutique. Tiffany's Boutique. Now, mind you, all of this came out of being in quarantine. So that's the point of why we're really doing this podcast. Being in quarantine has caused us to do a lot of things, as we said, differently, and really to press into and channel uh, our, our passions, our desires, our talents, our ability into things if we allow it. And so that's the key word, if you allow it. So at the beginning of this quarantine, we talked about how we gave suggestions and then we even created this ebook about things you can do with your children. And you 
never know what comes out of that. So because we were home and when she wasn't, you know, doing her schoolwork, this is what it produced. So what it produced is this business, as she said, it's called Tiffany's Boutique. And we'll be telling you more about that. And so basically today, this is the, the, the brunt of our conversation today. Basically today we decided to come out on the porch with our little table and our little makeshift table <laughs> and our computers and work on it just it was just kind of happened because I said well let's just do this one thing let's do this one thing and next thing you know it just took up the whole day but we were working on her business so I was I'm creating a lot of different things for her because I wanted her to start Daryl and I definitely wanted her to start young we don't want her to wait till she's older to understand at least it's some of the basic things about business and so we created I created checklists for her so she can use it going forward about the steps to starting her business, um, what type of entity, for example, she's going to be a sole proprietorship. And if you want to know more about that, we're going to talk about that probably in another segment. And so I've just been kind of helping her walk through that. She applied for an EIN number. We even opened up her checking account today. I mean, we went through a whole lot of different things today, but I think it was worthwhile. We started a website today. So we've just been like busy little bees out here on the porch <laughs> with our little lawn chairs exactly. and our table working on things. So how do you feel about all the things you've accomplished today? I feel excited, honestly. Like when I wanted to start a business, I didn't know that it was going to include all these different aspects mm -hmm. but now that i'm doing it i'm actually really excited especially to ship out my orders promote my business i'm just so excited so when are you officially launching uh hopefully i will launch maybe this weekend if not this weekend then the beginning of next week yes yes so be looking out. We'll make sure we post it on all our social media sites. And also, she has another new thing. She's going to be working for us. Oh, yeah. Speaking of business. So we have a couple of businesses. And so Tiffany, you know, she passed the interview. Ha ha. <laughs> and we gave her an offer letter. And so she's going to be working for us as what? A social media marketing intern. Yeah. So again, this is all business. It's just business, business, business. Because we think it is so, again, so important to teach this at a younger age. And now that she's 17, she's definitely at an age where she can understand. So we're excited about, let me say, I'm truly excited about handing her over for the, at least for the summer, the social media part. She's going to do all our marketing. And so we're giving her the opportunity to learn as an intern but at the same time get paid. So I'm really excited about that transition. But I, again, back to her business, all of this came out of being in quarantine, having the time to really think about what can we do? So we've been, um, my husband and I have been working, you know, we're still working on even some new books that's gonna be coming out probably before the end of the year because we think it's important, like I said, to figure out what are we supposed to be doing? Because that's one of our mandates too, even as a marriage, as a married couple and individually, what is our purpose? I mean, in this season for me, it's like I really got to hone in and really, really focus on what I'm supposed to be doing and what we're supposed to be doing, especially with our businesses, um, because we, we think it's necessary. We, we don't want to just exist. We want to have a purposeful a purposeful life you can hear that noise in the background <laughs> a purposeful life and we hope you do too as married couples or so whoever hears this individually but definitely as married couples really having purpose oh my goodness it just thinking about what we've done it does bring us a, a, a sigh of relief that woof how do we do it we got through it certain things that we've accomplished from last year up until now and we're just like wow how did that happen but we are so grateful that we decided to push through and still are i mean it is not easy you know being in the quarantine being in this climate everything that's going on it's so many things going on in the nation and in the world we're not going to even get into all of it that has you know gripped our hearts set in our hearts and we're just still trying to push through to figure out where we fit in what we can do to help people overall so we wanted to really talk about about that today like I said so excited for Miss Tiffany and her entrepreneur desires to move forward and at this rate you know this is just the first company with her because she she has some more ideas but we're gonna start with one yeah. she's gonna promote one she's gonna be our own <laughs> social media marketer she's gonna have a lot of things going on we're just gonna help her with what we know we've done this many times when we've started businesses so that, that brought something to my attention too about sometimes you don't really know what you know until you have to really walk someone else through it. 
So she made this statement to me. She said, Mom, how do you know how to do all this stuff? I said, you know what? I've done it so many times. I didn't even think about it. It's just like, it's just like breathing. And so it made me think about, hmm. So we can't discount the little things, even the things that were supposed, you know, failures, things that didn't work. The thing is, what did we learn? And so that's what I'm telling myself. And I'm, I'm hoping you will, you know, gr grab that as well. What have you learned, even in things that didn't quite work out the way you anticipated? What did you learn as a couple? What did you learn as a husband, as a wife, individually? What did you learn and can you apply it going forward? So with that being said, I think we're going to end it with that because she's still basking in all this thing, the things we've done today. <laughs> we've done a lot, but we are so grateful and we hope this is encouraging to you. So remember to check out our website at Rich marriage.com look for some new promotions for my new social media marketer intern yeah. she's going to be posting and she's going to be taking care of that but make sure you check out our website consider thinking about buying our ebook about you know the steps you can use tips and steps you can use during this quarantine time that may be helpful and maybe you can come up with some other things that will help you produce some money or produce something for your children okay and um our our book marriage takes three that's still out there you can check that out on our website or go to amazon.com we got a lot of things also, my children's book is out there. Make sure you grab that during this quarantine time and maybe consider reading that to your children. I think it'll be a good thing for you. So with that being said, I'm Charlotte. And I'm Tiffany. And this is the Team Baker. You hear the, the helicopter in the background. And we'll be talking to you soon. Peace.